How's it going everyone? In this video today I'm going to be showing you all how to install Alt Store on your iOS devices. And for this video today I'm going to be installing it using my Windows PC. But I have also made a tutorial on how to do it on Mac and I will have that link down below. And in this video today I'm just going to be going over the basic installation of Alt Store and some basic requirements that I recommend. And jumping right into the tutorial here, you're going to want to go down to the description and find the first download link, which will literally just be altstore.io. And then look down in the bottom and you'll see download alt server for, and then you'll just select your platform. For me, I'm on Windows right now. Then you go ahead and save that dot zip to somewhere easy to access. The next thing I'd recommend downloading is iTunes. And I will get a little more into this later, but basically it will allow you to sync your device over Wi-Fi rather than having to plug it in with a USB every single time. And this will be the second link down below. Just go ahead and download the iTunes for whatever version of Windows you have and whichever bit version it is. I'm on Windows 10 64 bit and also save that somewhere easy to access. And now that we have downloaded both of those files there, you're going to want to locate the alt installer.zip. And then you're just going to want to extract it. Now go ahead and run the alt installer.msi. Press next. And then you can choose if you want to install it for just yourself or everyone on the PC. Press next again and then press next. And if you receive a user account control prompt, just press yes. And if the installation is complete, you should be able to click close. Now what you should be able to do is you should be able to run alt server from the Windows search bar. So simply just type in alt server. And if you have not installed iCloud on your Windows PC before, you're going to be prompted with something like this. And thankfully, it is very easy to install iCloud. So simply just click on the blue download button. It will go ahead and open it up in a browser for you. And you can just go ahead and save the iCloud setup.exe to somewhere easy to access. Now you're going to want to go ahead and run the iCloud setup.exe. It can be done by just double clicking it. Accept the terms. Press install. You'll be prompted with another user account control. Just press yes. Press yes again if you get another one. And if it downloaded successfully, it should say welcome to iCloud and you should be able to press finish. And then it's going to say you must restart your system now. And I recommend restarting your system, so go ahead and do that real quick and then come back to the video. And once your system has rebooted, go back into the location where you downloaded the iTunes setup. Go ahead and run that and install iTunes on your PC. And then open that up. And you should see a screen like this. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and plug your iOS device into your PC. And then on iTunes, you'll probably see a prompt saying, do you want to allow this computer to access information on your device? Just press continue. And over on your iOS device, make sure it's unlocked and on the home page. And it's going to say, trust this computer. Just go ahead and press trust. And then enter in your passcode. And if you're successful, you should see your iOS device in the top left of iTunes. Go ahead and open that up. And down, down in the options here, you should see an option called sync with this iPad over Wi-Fi. Go ahead and check that and then press apply in the bottom. And this option here simply allows your iOS device to sync over Wi-Fi rather than having to use a cable every time. This just makes Alt Store a lot easier to use because around every seven days, you'll need to reconnect your Alt Store on your iOS device to your PC so that it can resync all the profiles and update any certificates you have. And you can now go ahead and exit iTunes. And now what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to type Alt Server into the home bar once again. And very shortly after, it should open up in the bottom right of your screen. Go ahead and click on that icon and then make sure automatically launch it startup is checked and you can now go ahead and install alt store on your device and for this video today i'm using my ipad then go ahead and enter your apple id and password and this is because apple needs to use your apple id in order to trust alt store so that you can use it for development and don't worry this is only sent to apple and if you have used alt store previously you'll just be prompted with something like this and I'm assuming most of you haven't, so you don't have to worry about this. But if you do see this prop up, just go ahead and press on OK. And shortly after pressing OK, Alt Store should appear pretty soon on your iOS device. And as you can see, it is right here on mine. And you should now be able to open that up. But if for some reason it doesn't open and it says you need to trust the profile, all you have to do is open up Settings, go over to General, and then go down to Profiles and Device Management, and then locate your Apple ID, and then you should just be able to press Trust. And then you should be able to open up Alt Store. And as long as you have iTunes running in the background on your PC, you can go ahead and unplug your iOS device from your PC. 
thanks to that helpful sync over Wi-Fi feature iTunes has. Now on your iOS device, open up AltStorm and then just go over to the settings tab and press sign in with Apple ID. And make sure this is the same Apple ID that you installed AltStore with on your Windows PC. And if you signed in correctly, you should see this How It Works page, and you can just press Got It on it because we have done all this stuff here. And you have now successfully installed AltStore and it's ready to sideload IPA files. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to go ahead and go over some of the requirements and the things I recommend. And starting off that list there, make sure that you have AltStore set to automatically launch at the startup. Next up, you're going to want to make sure that you do run your PC every seven days or so, just so your certificates don't expire. And the very last thing is that you should make sure that you leave iTunes running in the background of your PC sometimes, just so that Alt Store has a chance to refresh some of those certificates you have. And yeah, it's really that simple. Thank you all for watching. And in the future, I do plan to make some more Alt Store videos including some about UTM and installing virtual machines on your iOS devices, which I've actually done some previous videos now on. And I also do plan to make a few jailbreak videos. So make sure to stay tuned if that interests you. And lastly, if you've had any troubles, feel free to leave some comments down below. I'll do my best to get back to you guys, but if not, I'm sure there will be someone else out there that is willing to help you out.